Thank you for joining me on this Tuesday morning. This is a good week. We're talking about Jesus being the restorer of the restoration. And we're talking about Jesus coming into our life as we receive him as our Lord and Savior. And he begins to restore our life to where he wants us to live and how he wants us to enjoy the benefits of the abundant or the everlasting life. Now, I want to share with you another thought. Yesterday, remember, we talked about him restoring our lifestyle status and restoring us by giving us new friends, giving us better friends, giving people who could help us and support us and encourage us, not just take away from us and drag us down. But I want to read this scripture again in Mark 5 and verse 15. And it says, and they come to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind and they were afraid. Now what happens? I wanted to read that part to you. Why? What made people afraid? Because there was a change taking place in this man's life. Why is there a change taking place? Because he has invited Jesus. And Jesus is restoring his life. He's restoring him to not only the, a better status for living, not only does he surround him with people who can encourage him and, and help him through life and help him to be a success. But today, notice what it says. They saw him clothed. What does that mean? Not only does Jesus want to give you better people, better friends, but he wants to give you, he wants to give you better things. Did you know that? Do you know Jesus wants to give you better things? I talk to people and I share with them, and sometimes they say, well, I don't know about that. I, I just think Jesus wants to forgive me of my sin. And but that's it. No, 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 friend. Jesus wants to restore the things in your life as well. The things he wants to make better. He wants you to have better things. He wants you to enjoy life on a better level, but it, with better things. I tell you, we don't have to shun the, the better things of life. We don't have to do without the better things of life because Jesus will restore to us the better things. Now to do that, sometimes he takes away the old things that are not good for us, but he always gives us better things. Isn't that marvelous to know that? Sometimes we think, Lord, if I follow you, what are you going to take away from me? Yes, we might have to give up some things. But anything we have to give up, Jesus has promised that he will restore life and he will restore it by giving us better things. Wouldn't you like to have better things today? I know I do. Let's think about that all day and let's praise God that we're going to get better things. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.